What's up, everybody? It's Ivan with Trout's Fly Fishing back with the forecast for March 12th. Uh, it's spring-ish, but obviously when we talked about uh, this last time, we were getting hints of spring and we were expecting snowstorms to come because that's what happens in March and April. At least that's what needs to happen in March and April and it appears to be happening this weekend. Rumor has it there's going to be quite a bit of snow headed our way. Uh, so I don't know how that's going to affect your travel, uh, but you know, if you get out of the front range early, you might have some uh, more opportunities to get around. But uh, you know, play. I'm going to play it by ear. I know that for a fact. Uh, it's going to be a little bit weird this weekend potentially. So uh, keep that in mind. But it's good for the snowpack, good for the fish in the in the long run. Make for a, a better summer the more snow we get. So uh, that's that's number one. Number two is last week. I was roasted for my jacket. Just absolutely toasted to smithereens. So, in the spirit of more roasting of me, I wore a different jacket. This is like a six-year-old jacket. And I wanted you guys to comment below your best roast for this jacket. And, as a bonus, the best roast, or maybe the best couple roasts, will receive some swag from my uh, little swag pile. So, have at it. Let me know what you think about my oversized jacket. I, you won't hurt my feelings. Well, maybe you will, but give it a shot. So that's, the, that's a little uh, impromptu contest for uh, the forecast this week. So go ahead and roast in the comments, let it rip. Anyway, let's get back to, to fishing, bugs, flows, and weather. Uh, yeah, let's get it started. All right, let's take flies. So obviously we have, with the weather coming through, temperatures are gonna get a little bit cooler. Uh, that should slow down uh, some of the hatches, um, so blue wings, uh, while they might have been playing a larger role, lower on some of the uh, watersheds, uh, that might slow down a little bit. Uh, same, same with uh, you know, the, you know, the midges, we're, we'll see the midges, uh, but you know, we're sort of take a step back to then take a couple steps forward because it's, it's spring in the Rockies, this is sort of what we expect. Um, so to start off, uh, size 18, but you could fish this in a variety of sizes, the Manhattan midge. Uh, it's a good midge pupa pattern. You can sort of fish it mid-column. Uh, you can fish it as a dropper. Uh, you can fish it under an indicator as well. It's super deep, but that's a sort of a good hybrid pattern of a lot of classics uh, tied by Forest Dorsey, I think we've talked about it in the past. So uh, it's a great, great little pattern. Um, super productive this time of year. Definitely recommend it, especially on the South Platte. Uh, Stoneflies are molting, uh, especially on the Arkansas, the Colorado, the Eagle. Uh, so I grabbed a Pat's Rubber Legs. This is the orange variety. Uh, when they're molting, they do get a little bit brighter, so choosing brighter stonefly patterns can be uh, super productive, but you can also get them on darker patterns uh, as well. We were on the Arkansas fishing, uh, filming the five flies for March, which should be coming out, should just be out actually the day before this, um, and darker stoneflies were the ticket there as well. So uh, stoneflies are present year round. They have a three year life cycle, uh, so they're gonna be around in the water uh, you know, year round, but this time of year, they're gonna be a little bit more accessible uh, because they're molting, so that's a good option. <clears throat> I did grab a purple jigged Psycho Prince. I love the Psycho Prince, especially on the Arkansas and the Colorado. Um, it's a go-to, has uh, sort of takes inspiration from the classic Prince Nymph and uh, brings some modern twists to it. And it su just a super productive bug. Uh, the jig variety I would ride hook up, so you're going to get less snags, um, and you know fish are going to—it's uh, going to stick in fish pretty well. So uh, it's a good good option uh, this time of year. Uh, also for the freestones, my personal favorite streamer, the black peanut envy. Um, you've probably heard me talk about this fly before. It's because I have a lot of confidence in it, even though I've dropped it. A lot of confidence in it. It's <clears throat> black, which I like, articulated, which I also like, has an, enough of a profile to move water, but it's not too big of a profile where it's gonna be uh, too obtrusive uh, or intrusive or uh, in, too intimidating for fish. It's gonna trigger fish to eat, uh, but it's not too big where you're not gonna, um, you know, you're gonna get a lot of action on it. So it's a super engaging uh, fly to fish in my opinion. So I really like that fly. And then the last fly is the Tungsten Juju Betis. This is in the size 18. So as we go through the next two weeks, 
uh, I looked at you know I looked at the forecast for let's say for Deckers and obviously we have like snow Friday Friday Saturday Sunday and then I think Monday Tuesday as well uh, and then it's gonna get a little bit warmer it's gonna it's this is sort of what we expect with Spring of the Rockies you get these you know super big wet snowstorms that come through providing good moisture and then it starts to warm up and it's like uh, nothing really happens so uh, as it gets warmer into the, the end of next week uh, beginning of, of the week following uh, blooming olives will start to play a larger and larger role uh, that will be a good fly on tailwaters and freestones alike uh, really hard to go wrong with a charlie craven pattern uh, the guys flies flat out catch fish has a little bit of flash uh, the tungsten beads going to help it get down so if you're fishing a deeper rig uh, it's a really good option if you're fishing a like a lighter rig and you want to um, you know, you're sight fishing say on the south plat this would be a good lead bug it's going to help get your other bugs down so say you were fishing a pupa behind it um, this will sort of you serve well as an anchor so uh, those are the flies let's talk to let's get to the what do we do weather flows weather flows let's get to the flows We're going to talk flows, just taking a look at the uh, stream flows here on our website. Um, the South Platte sections are pretty much consistent. Uh, flows, I think, coming out of Cheeseman are like 40 ish. Uh, they're around 50 at Deckers. Uh, and the Dream Stream, I believe, was around 80 as well as uh, 11 mile in that range. Um, with the Freestones, uh, you're starting to see some fluctuation, uh, daily fluctuation. And that's generally going to be some of that low elevation snow that might be melting, uh, putting a little bit of water into the system and then uh, that melting stops. Uh, obviously with the snowstorms coming through, um, you know, we're supposed to get, supposedly supposed to get pounded here in the front range. Um, so that won't necessarily affect the freestones that we like to fish. Um, but they're still supposed to get snow up there. And as it warms up in the high country, expect some more variable flows. Uh, it's one of those things this time of year when uh, you get those spring snowstorms followed by spring weather, like warmer spring weather, uh, it starts to melt the low elevation sort of valley snow and it bumps the flows. Uh, when it bumps the flows, I generally like to fish bigger bugs, darker bugs, uh, bigger tippet. So something to keep in mind. So maybe something like this or something like this, this, that. All right, so that's flows, nothing, uh, nothing too crazy. Uh, obviously sort of when we get into the prime time, that's when it gets a little bit more dynamic. So yeah, there we go. That's flows with suck weather. So if you've been watching the news, been paying attention to uh, your your favorite weather person, you'll know that apparently there's going to be some snow coming through this weekend. Uh, I've heard estimates from 12 inches to like three feet. I'm not going to make that call. Clearly, I'm not smart enough to make that call. Uh, but I do know it's supposed to snow. They haven't said it's not supposed to snow, so expect snow. Uh, obviously, the amount of snow that they're predicting, if it, it's on the high end, it's going to make it difficult to travel. If it's on the low end, it's still going to be a little difficult to travel, but if you can make it out, uh, you'll probably find some emptier rivers. Um, but no guarantees on uh, transportation uh, in a big spring snowstorm. So keep that in mind. Uh, might be a tying weekend, might be a fishing weekend. It's up to you. Uh, choose your own adventure, obviously. I'm not the boss of you, you know? You're the boss of you. You make your own decisions. Go fishing or don't. Or maybe do, who knows? All right, so we have the snow coming through this weekend. And then at the end of the week, it's supposed to get warmer. Uh, it's, we'll probably, I wouldn't doubt if we see another uh, similar pattern uh, going into the end of March into April. Uh, these things are good for snowpack. Uh, they're good for uh, the rivers, they're good for fish, the macroinvertebrates. It's all good, it's not bad, it's good. Other than the fact that you have to shovel it and driving it. That's the bad part, but maybe you like that stuff, you know? Who knows? Anyway, that's the weather. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Don't forget, leave a comment about my dumb jacket down in the comment section. Uh, at the next bi-weekly, or not bi-weekly forecast, the next forecast, we will announce the winner of who burned Yvon the best. Let it rip. <laughs> I don't wanna cry. All right, thanks a lot. We'll see you in, here in the shop or on the water.